strategy its formulation and implementation a strategy is a set of actions taken by the managers of a company to increase the company's performance the strategy making process includes both the strategy formulation and strategy implementation strategy formulation is the process of selecting strategies strategy implementation is the process of putting the selected strategies into the action strategic plans the strategic plans are broad general long term plans usually 5 years or longer that are based on the objectives of the organization the company's top management leads the strategic planning effort steps in the strategic planning process the steps in the strategic planning process are number 1 define the company's mission vision values and goals number 2 analyzing the organization's external competitive environment to identify the opportunities and threats number 3 analyzing the internal operating environment to identify strengths weaknesses and limitations number 4 formulating and selecting the strategies number 5 developing and implementing the chosen strategies theory is about the management's role in reaching profit growth there are two theories one the market theory gives management a passive role and views its function as making reactive decisions in response to environmental events as they occur number two the planning and control theory views the role of the management as an active one that emphasizes the planning function of management and its ability to control the activities of the business intermediate plans a strategic plan is broken down into intermediate or the tactical plans 1 to 5 years which are designed to implement specific parts of the strategic plan upper and the middle managers develop the tactical plans operational plans short term or the operational plans 1 week to 1 year are developed from the tactical plans operational plans focus on implementing the tactical plans to achieve the operational goals and include the budgeted amounts middle and the lower level managers develop the operational plans components of the mission statement there are four components of the mission statement and they are a statement of the company's mission or reason to be its vision or a statement of a desired future state a statement of the organization's values and a statement of its major goals goals and its characteristics a goal is a precise and measurable future state that the company wants to achieve goals are precise and measurable goals should be crucial and address the important issues goals should be challenging while at the same time be realistic goals should specify when they should be achieved in order to create a sense of urgency opportunities and threats opportunities arise when companies can leverage external conditions to develop and implement strategies that will make them more profitable threats include conditions in the external environment that pose a danger to profitability forces that shape the competition within an industry the forces that shape competition within an industry are five number 1 the risk of entry by potential competitors 
Number two, the intensity of rivalry among established companies within an industry. Number three, the bargaining power of the buyers. Number four, the bargaining power of suppliers. Number five, the closeness of substitutes to an industry's products. Competitive advantages situations. There are two situations. Number one, distinctive competencies and the superior efficiency, quality, innovation, and customer responsiveness that result from them. Number two, the profitability that is derived from the value customer places on its products, the price that it charges for its products, and the cost of creating those products. Factors that determine the durability of the competitive advantage. There are three factors that determine the durability of the competitive advantage. Number one, barriers to imitation or factors that make it difficult for a competitor to imitate the company's distinctive competencies such as the patents. Number two, the capability of competitors to imitate the competi company's competitive advantage. And number three, how rapidly the industry is changing. Generic distinctive competencies. There are four generic distinctive competencies. Superior efficiency, superior quality, superior innovation, and superior customer responsiveness. Generic competitive strategies. There are four generic competitive strategies. Number one, cost leadership or having a lower cost structure than all of its competitors. This can permit the cost leader to charge a lower price than the competition, thus attracting more business and the increased sale will lead to the higher profits. Number two, focus cost leadership or competing within a narrow market segment using the strategy of cost leadership. Number three, differentiation, which is based on achieving the competitive advantage by providing a product that is different or unique in some important way. It might be the superior innovation, excellent quality, or responsiveness to customer needs because those are the three principal ways to achieve the product differentiation. Number four, focus differentiation or a business model that specializes in serving the needs of just one or two market segments or niches. The focus differentiator position itself to compete with the primary differentiator in the market but in only one or two of the market segments. Value. A company creates value for customers when it produces and sells its products or performs and sells its service. The value created is the difference between the utility that the customer gets from the product and the company's cost to produce it. U minus C is equal to the created value, where U is the utility and C is the cost. Modes of entry in the foreign market. There are five modes of entry in the foreign market for a company. Number one, exporting. Number two, licensing. Number three, franchising. Number four, entering into a joint venture with a host country company. And number five, setting up a wholly owned subsidiary in the host country. Horizontal and vertical integration. Horizontal integration is a corporate level strategy that involves acquiring or merging with the competitors to achieve the competitive advantages such as the economies of scale. In vertical integration, a company expands its operations either into an industry producing inputs to the company's operations or forward into an industry that uses the company's products. Decisions that a company must make for its organizational structure. How to group tasks into functions and how to group functions into business units or the divisions. How to allocate the authority and responsibility to the functions and the divisions. How to increase the coordination or integration between and among the functions and the divisions. And how to maintain and increase them as the structure evolves. Organizational structure for international operations. For the international operations, a company can adopt any of the following organizational structures. 
localization is oriented towards responsiveness to the local markets international generally combines centralized research and development and manufacturing with decentralized marketing in each major geographical area where the company operates global standardization is a low cost strategy transnational attempts to achieve the both local responsiveness and the cost reductions pest analysis pest analysis is a type of the situation analysis pest stands for political economic social and technological factors that are examined in the process of doing the strategic planning for an organization advantages of the budgets it promotes coordination and communication among an organization units and the activities it provides a framework for the measuring the performance it provides the motivation for managers and employees to achieve the company's plans it promotes the efficient allocation of the organizational resources it also provides a means for the controlling operations and it provides a means to check on progress towards the organizational goals methods of developing a budget a budget is developed by any of the following three methods number 1 a participative budget is developed from the bottom up approach number 2 an authoritative budget is developed from the top down approach number 3 a consultative budget is a combination of the authoritative and participative budget development methods steps in the budgeting process the steps in the budgeting process are budget guidelines are set and communicated initial budget proposals are prepared by the responsibility centers negotiation review and the approval revisions reporting on variances and using the variance reports budgetary slack the difference between the amount budgeted and the amount the manager actually expects is a budgetary slack it is the practice of underestimating planned revenues and overestimating planned costs to make the overall budget more achievable methods of setting the standard cost there are five methods number 1 activity analysis number 2 historical data number 3 target costing number 4 strategic decisions and number 5 benchmarking considerations in setting the direct material standards number 1 required quantity of materials sorry required quality of materials number 2 the quantity needed and number 3 the price per unit of the materials master budget the master budget or the comprehensive budget is the culmination and the goal of the budgeting process it is a summarized set of budgeted financial statements including the budgeted balance sheet budgeted income statement and the budgeted statement of the cash flows operating budgets operating budgets are used to identify the resources that will be needed to carry out the planned activities during the budget period such as sales services production purchasing marketing and research and development the operating budgets for individual units are compiled into the budgeted income statement financial budgets financial budgets identify the sources and the uses of funds for the budgeted operations financial budgets includes the cash budget budgeted statement of the cash flows budgeted balance sheet and the capital expenditures budget capital expenditures budget the capital expenditure budget is the budget for the long term capital expenditures such as the property plant and equipment the capital budget usually covers a period of several years and thus is often prepared in years in advance of the budget year it affects order of the budget making the budgets are prepared according to the following order number 1 the sales budget number 2 the production budget number 3 the ending inventory budgets number 4 the cost of goods sold budget number 5 the non manufacturing budget and the last budget which is made is the cash budget this video is made from my cma part 1 financial planning performance and analytics 2020 book the link to subscribe the same is mentioned in the description may allah lord of the heavens and the earth 
bless you in this world and in particular in life hereafter. Amen. Have a nice day. Take care. Allah Hafiz.